On this edition of the Inside Lane, we'll be giving you a quick rundown of our 1958 DKW Monza. By the 1950s, German manufacturer DKW was known for producing low-cost, front-wheel drive sedans and coupes for the European market. The models were known as 3 equals 6. Its two-stroke engine delivered a power stroke with every crankshaft revolution, so three cylinders performed like a six-cylinder four-stroke. The fiberglass-bodied Monza Coupe was built in limited numbers from 1956 to 1958. The DKW Monza Club estimates that there were just 70 to 80 cars built and that fewer than 50 have survived. The front seats are roomy for a car this size, thanks to the front wheel drive layout and column mounted 4 speed shifter. There's a small rear bench seat and the panoramic rear window adds to the open feeling of the interior. The two stroke 898cc engine has 55 brake horsepower on tap adequate for a car that weighs in at only 1,700 pounds. The engine is located well ahead of the front axle. Interestingly, the radiator and fan are located above and behind the engine block. Oh, and does that four-ringed logo look familiar? DKW's parent company, Auto Union, was formed in 1932 when Audi, DKW, Horsch, and Vonderer were combined under one umbrella organization. DKW was kind of like Chevrolet to Auto Union's GM. When Volkswagen acquired Auto Union and merged them with NSU in the late 1960s, Volkswagen decided to keep the Audi name for its new premium division, yet retained the four ring logo as a tribute to the original four Auto Union companies. For more information on other cars from the museum's collection, check out our newest book, A Hobby Gone Wild, available for purchase at lanemotormuseum.org. <laughs>